week's episode, we had bright sunshine as we headed from Saigon to Dalat. But today, the weather gods aren't playing. It is cold, it is wet and bloody windy. I have chosen to take the coast road because the coach drivers, when it rains, well, they actually get even crazier. And today, what we're trying to do is head from Dalat through the hills, up through the mountain pass and then back down again. But first, we've got to get this road out of the way, get ourselves home safely. And the road today takes us through Dalat, down through the coastal road, and on to our final destination, a place called Queen Yong. But this coastal road, as beautiful as it is, is treacherous. And soon, with the rain pelting down, it's time to put on a raincoat. And all too soon, because as the rain continues and then dries up, the traffic stops. And the traffic stopping is actually very, very rare in Vietnam. I'm trying to push the bike through wet roads, through potholes, through essentially like a whole four lanes of traffic, nothing moving. And the reason why, unfortunately, is pretty damn tragic. As I weave through the traffic in between coaches in the kind of curbside, this is pretty sketchy, but Actually, I'm starting to get worried because what's happening is when traffic stops, there's normally a bad accident and only a minute or so beforehand, a couple of coaches went absolutely screaming down the highway at a speed that even I thought, okay, for the Vietnamese, this is pretty nuts. And yeah, I've turned the sound off in this because there's a lot of screaming and a lot of crying and it's a little bit distressing, but the coach in front of me turned over. It must have turned over less than a minute before I got there. It, the scene is just unimaginable the driver or pat people stopped punched through the front window and we're trying to help people out and being stuck here it's a very difficult decision because i'm medically trained and i've got a bag with my passport and all my documents and everything in and i have to go and leave the bike to help it's a very challenging moral decision but time and time again i would do the same thing i stopped the bike I tried in broken Vietnamese to kind of say, look, I can help people. And I waited for the ambulance to turn up while trying to give first aid to a few people. And my bag was fine, but difficult. So I've come off the main road. Um, really shitty coach accident. Apparently it's not too common here. Apparently it's all too common here, actually. Um, coach turned over. They drive like absolute lunatics, these coach and foot lorry drivers. I said this before, you know, they just come screaming past, horns bearing, lights going, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, one of them turned over just in front of me. Um, from what I could see, there was a lot of concussed people, a lot of minor glass injuries to like hands and feet, but I couldn't see any fatalities and I did stop for a while until the ambulance showed up but it's uh this is all too common here it is just you know i guess uh, there's a different value on um, health and safety here which is all too apparent anyway i'm a little shaken up but um i think they can't be fixed with coffee and pork chops <laughs> that is going on a t-shirt all right catch up with you later people But with a bad and tragic morning out the way, I was able to see the sun come out, see the blue sky, feel the warmth on my skin, get rid of the jacket and the raincoat and start this amazing hill climb over the hill from Dalat and into Nichang. Truly, truly epic. And honestly, made up for everything that happened prior to this. Amazing. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide River's gonna cry when you're gone It's fair to assume I don't like cities. A night in the lap was enough for me. I just wanted to get away. It's too... Um, I just want to see rural Vietnam and this. The road down from... It is just so picturesque. Pumpkin farmers. The whole area is famous for coffee plantations. There's coffee there is there are strawberries so coffee strawberries and oranges and everywhere is green and beautiful and everyone is super friendly i'm just happy happy vietnam is a stunningly stunningly beautiful country ho chi minh 
although I don't like cities, has a certain craziness to it that I think is addictive. But the other cities, then the Lat is famous really for young Vietnamese couples going away together. It's a romantic destination, but with that comes the kind of cheesiness that that only Asia does so well. The hundreds of horse-drawn carriages shaped like uh, Cinderella's pumpkin carriage, but all done in pink with glowing lights. And it's all very stylized and, and meant for kind of like photo opportunities. And what I would say is that Asia, especially Vietnam, their selfie game is the strongest I've ever seen. But this is why I do this. And I also realize that actually I, I am meant to travel. This is where I'm happy, just, you know, just watching looking at people doing this sort of thing just being in the countryside stopping talking to the locals and having a cup of coffee it's just it's all amazing so yeah today my trip is from the lat up in the central highlands back down the mountain through all the plantations and off to the chang the beach resort enjoy this <laughs> gonna cry when you're gone So, I guess we're almost at the end of our trip. I have 14, 15 minutes. Uh, it's been amazing. I've absolutely loved this trip. It's going to be the first of a few, I think. This is a loop of southern Vietnam. Now, whether I turn it into a figure of eight and go up north is going to depend on, obviously, filming schedules for the boat. But if I don't do it this time, I will definitely do it again. So, yeah, amazing. I'm going to sign off on this now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. This is the end of my trip north, Quang Ong. It is, well, it looks a lot like a lot of the other seaside resorts, but as we come up to Tet, so many celebrations, statues, balloons, we're coming into the year of the cat. And so it's been a good week. It's been a fantastic week. What would I say to you, for those of you who are like, ah, oh, what do you think about traveling through Vietnam? I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. I do think it's amazing. But what I would say is that what I want from life and what I want from travel is actually not urban centers. What I want is the rural parts, the bits that actually the Vietnamese maybe don't want to go and see. So these urban centers, whether it's the Lap or in the Chang or Mui Nè, they, they don't really hold anything for me. Apart from just to see the joy on these people's faces, you know, that I'll spin you around. There's just so much going on with like these kind of beautiful work, actually women and men in our yai, just all getting ready for Tet. And uh, as I've said before, this selfie game is super, super good. But this is amazing to see. Tomorrow, I'm gonna start heading south. If I get the chance, I will put the bike on the train and send it up a lot further north and then go up and pick it up myself. But for now, this is the apex of my trip. I would have wanted to do the, uh, a couple of the passes. I've done one really good pass, but the weather really is closing in and I spent a lot of today soaking wet. And uh, this is probably not the time to do it. Anyway, I will leave you in Quang Long uh, with hundreds of people celebrating Tet. I hope you are all well. And I hope you enjoyed this little look into life in Vietnam. It has been absolutely amazing. And I hope to do many more motorcycle trips over the years. Take care. Heard you want to leave this place But we grew up this old town Just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When 